Hello ladies and gents, as usual, welcome back to the channel, I am here with your daily crypto news and analysis. And today, along with the great majority of crypto and money, we will be discussing Ripple and XRP. So, with that said, let's get started. So, Binance just made a big statement with, of course, the DOJ. I'm recording this a little earlier in the day because I'll be working hard on refurbishing this new house, so please accept my apologies for arriving late to the celebration. However, we will address a few issues so that Shannon's great crypto, as seen by Nance DOG settlement, is official and public. This was the last single cloud that was towering over the heads of the bulls, and it had just removed. This is the ultimate bullhorn that broke the bear's back, and yeah, there's a $4.3 billion settlement because Nance did agree to a seize and is stepping down. This is a significant catalyst. Listen, we have a plethora of catalysts. Actually, I just retweeted Ryan So Lucas's tweet, and as Nance points out, Derisking is one of the most powerful catalysts we might have in crypto. Following the $4 billion settlement, cryptocurrency has become a legitimate industry. Seas takes a long knee to Miami holiday market, blasts higher ATFs approved in January GOP, wins 2024 election and crypto legislation passed. There's a lot going on here. And at the end of the day, there is a lot to look forward to. Right now, we're looking at cryptocurrency. Things are heating up in terms of standardization, regulations, adoption, and utility as a focal point, as if everything is coming together at the perfect time, and this market is maturing, say it with me, right? This market is maturing, and we have begun to see a lot of the major scams being pushed out of this market. Yes, regulations must continue to enter the space in order to truly purify everything. But that is what will happen. Things are happening right now, and they are moving swiftly. We also know that worldwide regulatory frameworks are being planned and created, with the goal of completing them by the end of 2025. This could be the final official major bull run before we get effective regulation. So now is not the time to be fooling around and missing out on the major crypto movement. So with that, I'd like to direct your attention to two videos uploaded by Black Swan Capitalist on X when you notice the market sniper just dropped a bombshell central banks have purposefully constructed all the financial obstacles to keep the middle class out of the future crypto bull market. Take a look at this. You don't want anyone to profit. If you want to hollow them out. So you inflict enormous economic misery on them first, so that the inevitable bull market, which must occur, sees low involvement by individuals and corporatocracy as the principal participants and originators of the token. So the ultra-wealthy, the trillionaires of the world, will not allow themselves to be reduced to 10 million just because the debt markets are collapsing and they retain all the debt they have created the new system, and they are the largest holders in the new system, and they're going to inflate it while deflating it. As a result, it will be directly proportional, and they will be able to retain and develop their fortune. As a result, there will be more hollowing out of the middle and serfdom. And that is the dilemma that most people will face in this crypto bull market. They will not have enough skin in the game. There hasn't been enough money made. They have had they were crushed by rising interest rates. You don't want any of them, and you know this is 100% true since I read the comments on my videos all the time. How are we going to have a bull run? Nobody has money to waste on cryptocurrency if retail isn't here. That's the problem. This market does not require retail to FOMO in order to rise. People have been attempting to short Bitcoin throughout its entire rise to 38, and it's merely added fuel to the fire but there's also institutional adoption and institutional focus. As things stand right now, the most max pain scenario would be the middle class sitting on the sidelines, unable to invest in cryptocurrency. That is why you must be situated. You must be in place before the next big move. I've been saying this since 2022 with FTX. As I already stated, we are witnessing massive shakeups. Now is the moment to focus on moving forward with what we've learned in the last year. There has been an increase. Crypto has provided amazing returns. However, the upcoming crypto bull run will represent a massive wealth transfer. Insiders are already in place. This is the same video that was shared by Black Swan Capitalists, except this time it comes from Vendel. 
However, it is true that we are about to see and see something really remarkable. But what will happen to regulations? Stephen Neri began by providing us with some insight into what is going on. Bitcoin 2.0 the reboot, crypto promised tremendous wealth creation for the masses in an environment where the establishment cannot control the masses. Reality, massive wealth transfer from the masses in an environment where the establishment uses it to control the masses. Corona at its core trillion drained off in fraud. Crypto must be cleansed of this darkness and rebooted to achieve its original promise. This will be cryptocurrency 2.0. Now, for many folks out there, they may consider this and conclude, well, this is terrible. However, this is reality. Why do you think the heavy hitters are getting into crypto, blockchain, and DLT, as if crypto 2.0 is on the way? This entire market is going to be cleansed, and it will happen. Regulations will be the catalyst for all of this. There was also a reaction to Stephen. It cannot be restarted. It has been in circulation for more than 10 years. The attitude, on the other hand, can be altered. What do you notice about Stephen? Short, you can make a crude connection, but for those who recall, yeah, who had a dominant position in search before we entered the search engine fight. With so many companies battling for market share, Google came up with a whole new method and rebooted it. The same thing happened with markets until eBay took a different strategy. It's not an ideal parallel, and they weren't inherently ideological. Rather, they were technical and feature-related. Given network effects, one stable blockchain adhering to the idea of crypto might relegate the rest to zombie currency land. Now, if we walk back over here, we can see a couple more responses. Is there any vision, foresight, or soul remaining in our socioeconomic marketplace to prefer a go-slow, intentional ideology-based alternative to a most sure centralized altcoin? There isn't any. What crypto lacks is leadership. Someone must emerge to serve as the space's face and steer it. Botalak was essentially only a face. Nobody in the crypto world ever looked to Sivyev. Even prior to the exposure. That was given to AI by Sam Altman. Elon is quickly becoming the face of social media. Zuckerberg was never a natural leader. He is more like what we have today in that he is self-interested and does not challenge the current quo to advance anyone forward. True leaders care about the industry more frequently, and they will rise if they raise the tide for everyone. Given what many of us know, I see existential risk, which I do not want to see, but if sections of crypto self-destruct, perhaps a leader can emerge, though I'm not sure how much they can accomplish right now. Then, of course, the Brad Garland Mansion is mentioned. People may dislike the corporate road, but he has been through it and has come up with trumps. And of course, Ripple is the most professional and ethical cryptocurrency company. You heard my thoughts on the recording to be emulated in 2015. In addition, I've frequently mentioned them in public. Now, let's take a look at Ripple and XRP as a currency. This is quite intriguing to me. Because, listen, these are the main people and the main company behind what's going on here. For those who arrived late to the party and missed it, when we look at Crypto 2.0, which is the reboot, we can see that it is obscuring all the fluff and highlighting the underlying benefit. Everything changes at this point. Listen, we've done a lot of research. We've done a lot of study on XRP. We've done a lot of research on Ripple. And based on our study, we know that Ripple has already been linked and networking with individuals who need to be connected and networked with in order for crypto to be taken seriously in the real world and for broad adoption to occur. And once again, as we look at CBDCs, I realize it's not the most exciting topic, is it? Everyone believes that this will control everything and break everything down. And it is because of this that when it comes to CBDCs, whether we like it or not, they're going to happen. Marcus Finger will be at the Digital Asset Summit on December 5. See post below. And James Wallace, what is the role of commercial banks in the development of CBDCs? Yell XRP dumps for this. What is the role of commercial banks in the development of CBDCs 10? Do commercial banks, merchants, and central banks collaborate successfully to integrate CBDCs into the broader financial ecosystem? In practice, how can they achieve this? In terms of technology, policy, and usability, respectively, why are they important for CBDCs? 
to proceed from experimentation to real-world application? What difficulties will commercial banks have in successfully deploying CBTCs? How can these issues be addressed? And of course, you have James Wallace, the VP of Central Bank Relations at Ripple, who has already been highly focused on CBDCs. We know that Ripple has been completely focused on the ultimate goal of the Internet of Value. Furthermore, Ripple is now collaborating with five active central banks. They're also in talks with 20 to 30 people. Central banks have already been at the forefront with the BS, the IMF, and the World Bank. When we look at a company and a currency that may be a leader in the field, it is Ripple and XRP is a currency that is genuinely unique. And I'm not claiming that XRP needs to be the most valuable token in the market. But I believe it will be a dominant force in the utility-driven economy. And who knows where the value will end up. We've discussed three digits, four digits, and who knows what else. Everyone thinks it's ridiculous. But once again, when we look outside of crypto, those Amazons, Googles, and Apples of the world, guess what? Everyone will doubt them along the path. Outside of what Ripple is doing, XRP has its own realm of utility. But when you combine that with what Ripple is doing with XRP, it opens up a whole new universe of value and demand. However, we also know what the elites want to do with CBDCs. And it is making money obsolete, check up chapter 7 or 7 crypto for this. What are the benefits of CBDCs? For an economy like the Bahamas, the first country to introduce CBDCs, where you need to carry cash shuchi expense to different parts in different islands, this is a big advantage. Second, accelerate financial inclusion by making it so that there is a push for digitalization and then digitalization steps into the world of money. What is the benefit? That's all there is to it. And again, if we look at what the IMF has been doing, Many people believe that this is not going to happen, that we are not going to go completely cashless, that we are not going to make currency obsolete. But why should we? Have you considered it? This has been their whole concentration since the beginning. Why do you believe the epidemic occurred? Why do you think, when we saw the pandemic, the World Economic Forum and the BIS were all talking about how, you know, physical currency usage had plummeted dramatically? It's all for the purpose of identifying two digital currencies, digital assets, and tapping into CBDCs, rather than simply introducing another money into the market. However, they are attempting to render cash obsolete. This is from the International Monetary Fund. Now keep in mind, when it comes to CBDCs, when it comes to currency, if we see CBDCs replace cash, am I concerned? I'd be concerned if there wasn't a third-party participant present, eRipple. It is in our best interests to have Ripple provide technology that can ease some of those pain areas. Is it, once again, relieving all of our pain points and, you know, concerns? No. And I believe we should be concerned. That, in my opinion, is incredibly healthy. However, we already know that this is taking place. This was their intention. Their goal has long been established. And that's basically what Stephens is saying here with Crypto 2.0, the reboot, right where the promise was, oh, like the establishment can't control the masses at all with crypto, and, you know, we're going to utterly disrupt the way regular currencies work. Banking when Bitcoin takes over as the primary money and is not controlled by anyone, and everyone becomes wealthy, like, that's not what happens. But in reality, the establishment exploits tremendous wealth transfer from the masses to control the masses. And while this may not appear to be a good thing for those who have witnessed it, by completing the research, reading, learning, and understanding what is going on, we will be able to avert extinction. Do you remember what I said? Looking at the broader population, the ordinary person will be 99% wiped off. And I would argue that 99.9% .9 of the general public is blind to what is going on here. They haven't studied the materials from the BS, the World Economic Forum, the IMF, the World Bank, you name it, have they? So, if we look closely at what's going on here, we can see that a revolution is taking place. And you know this could be the last major bull run without regulations, but the next wave and what we see next will be regulations, with utility being the price driver, and that's where everything changes, especially for tokens like XRP. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, 
please leave a like and subscribe to notifications for more free stuff. You can also follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord server described below. Aside from that, if you want to go acquire your very own crypto apparel, you can do so over on tokenizedthreads.com links below description below this was in comments below. We have a ton of shirts, hoodies, hats, and other items that were recently released for the winter and fall jobs if you want to go check it out. As I mentioned in the links and description below, as well as in the comments, tokenizedthreads.com. That's all there is to it. And once again, as if everything had been planned from the start, everything we've seen in this market can be traced back to the initial game plan. And Ripple has always played a role in it. I've discussed it. I've talked about all of these links with Ripple, the BIS, the INNF, and the World Bank as if they were all happening right now. The incumbents are here, the great giants are here, and they're tapping in. All of these major developments that are exceedingly bearish for most of its dominoes are escalating Binance, FTX. They are the dominoes that must fall for the new crypto space to rise. And I've already mentioned it. It's a completely regulated utility-driven market, and that's what we're hoping for. So, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe notifications, because more people can follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord on the description below.